Now, it seems like it was a glorious month for host nations. We saw Qatar lift the AFC Asian Cup. And then there was the Ivory Coast, who beat Nigeria 2-1 to win their third AFCON, or African Cup of Nations title. And it was Sebastian Holler who scored a dramatic late winner. After the end of the first half, Nigeria were, in fact, leading 1-0. However, Frank Kessie equalised just after the hour mark to make it one all. The stage was set for Holler to win it for the Elephants. It was in the 81st minute, in fact, that Holler speared his way into the net and thus was written another fairy tale script. Iriko's sense of destiny was simply too overpowering and I'll tell you why. They became the first host country to win the AFCON since 2006. The 60,000 capacity stadium was packed to witness the historic moment. What makes the win even more special is the fact that the champions were on the brink of elimination during the group stage. You remember all the angry fans after their 4-0 loss to Equatorial Guinea. The management was livid and in a classic knee-jerk reaction, they went ahead right in the middle of the tournament to sack their coach Jean-Louis Gasset. The team looked like they were in shambles. There was little to no way out from there and they were staring at a horrible exit. Emma's Fay, a former player, replaced Gasset as coach. Fay began a remarkable turnaround. It was written in Faye's destiny to win it as their coach. From there on, Ivory Coast ousted defending champion Senegal on penalties, beat Mali with a last-minute goal in extra time, and edged out Democratic Republic of Congo before beating Nigeria in the final. What a comeback journey. After the roller coaster ride during the tournament, the Ivory Coast coach reflected on this incredible Afghan journey. It's more than a fairy tale, frankly. I still can't believe we have done it. When I think back to everything we went through during the competition, the difficult moments, the times when we were behind and came back at the last minute, it's extraordinary. It's a huge opportunity. We are miraculous. We went and got the cup because it didn't give up, because we fought right to the end and we showed that we are men, that we know how to bounce back despite the hard times. And while it was happiness for one side, it was disbelief for the other. Despite leading in the first half, Nigeria was heartbroken after that loss. I agree with you. Our team did a fantastic tournament, but today, court was better, did a very good game. Our team didn't play or didn't show our level. Is the true? No individual. No, the same in our quality and collective, uh, collective performance like we did until now. When this happened, only I must do what must say congratulations for Cote d'Ivoire. It was better than us today. Congratulations for my players because they, they did a fantastic job until, until today. Nigeria still had the chance. If it wasn't for one man, the star of the show, Sebastian Hollow. It was Adingra's cross and Holler's graceful diversion that took the ball into the far corner. Holler showed why he is a fighter, a fighter who does not give up on the field or off it. In 2022, Holler was diagnosed with testicular cancer. Imagine that. We all know people of people who battled and have fought cancer in the past. It is the most painful thing to do and witness someone close to you going through it is just as agonizing. And roughly 18 months later, here we are discussing the fighting tale of this man. Holler underwent two operations and four cycles of chemotherapy. Each cycle weakens you significantly. All of this meant he was away from the football field for a long time. He only returned to training in January 2023. Holler reflected on the whole situation. He even said it would take years for all of this to sink in. Last one and a half years, like you said, I've been quite challenging for uh, for myself for the family for everyone so um so yeah i have the feeling that uh, no matter what you want to do something will happen so uh, i just take everything step by step um and i just try to to enjoy also every moment you know take every choices to uh to don't get any any regrets to yeah i just want to uh, to enjoy so uh so now at the moment uh when you see the last months, what everything happened, 
yeah, it's a kind of a great moment today to uh, to be here in the front of you to speaking about the final uh, for Africa Cup in your own country. Holler's story is inspirational. His resilience and fighting spirit makes him a superstar. In addition to cancer, an ankle injury too kept him out of the group stages. But when he came back, there was no turning around. A story that will be told and retold for years to come and is sure to motivate youngsters everywhere. It's a story that proves why sports can set everything right, just like the Sebastian Holler goal in the 81st minute for Ivory Coast. From impeachments to inaugurations, if it's a political story, we are on the scene. The race for the White House is heating up. We're beating Biden. How dare he say that? If it's breaking news, we're live with the latest coverage. From the White House, the State Department, and Capitol Hill, we know the issue, but above all, we know the players to bring you the latest in-depth analysis on all the key stories that we're covering. I'm Eric Ham. Join me from Washington here on First Post America.